This video is going to be about, as you uh, noticed in the beginning, what to do when a female after she lays eggs. This is my pastel female. She uh, laid eggs and um, successfully, great, great, good clutch. Um, as you can see, she's still coiled around as if she is hugging eggs. Obviously, that's not the case. There's absolutely no eggs in here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking the female out, putting in her in a, in a separate tub. I'm going to take all this bedding and all this, this whole entire tub and inside the rack, I'm going to sanitize it, clean it, and everything like that. Now, what I'm going to do with the female is I'm going to wash the female down with some water to get the scent of egg out of there. Because uh, I don't want her coiled up like this, and she's not going to eat for me. She's going to be very uh, stressed out. She's going to be very guarded. And as you can see, she's extremely alert because she thinks that she's around eggs because she still smells the scent of egg in, within her tub. So I want to clean all of that out, clean her and every single and, 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 and everything like that. So she will no longer have the scent of egg on her. So she could be calm, she could rest, she could, you know, not be as defensive. I can notice that she hasn't been drinking her water. So uh, it's very important you do this. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So continue on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to take the female first. I'm going to take her out. She's still somewhat defensive, extremely alert. And let's like say she was coiling around it as if she had eggs, obviously. No eggs. I took them out and I put them in the incubator. So I'm going to take her and put her in a uh, separate tub right over here. I'm going to put a lid on it because I don't want her to escape. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it to the side. I'm going to take everything out that is in here and clean it all up so it gets the scent of, of um, egg out of there. Because you don't want that scent in there. Because like I said, she's going to be wrapped around like a little ball, like in the beginning, as if she was around eggs. So I'm going to be taking all this bedding and dumping it in here. <clears throat> Very easy. Uh, not difficult. A lot of people uh, um, that are beginner breeders or, uh, you know, doing their, you know, having their first clutch and everything like that. And all, the, all they do when it comes to research is... How to incubate the eggs, uh, what's the humidity, what bedding to use, um, what, uh, how to do this, how to do that, what kind of egg box, what kind of incubator. And then that's cool, that, that, that's right, that's, that's, uh, that's awesome. Um, but very little, uh, uh, not that many people do research on what to do after, after they're all done making, you know, after they're done with their clutch and, and, and incubating it, what to do with the female. Some people just don't know. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sanitize this, spray this all down, clean it within the uh, incubator as well because there's scent of egg in there. I'm going to get that all out and uh, we'll be right back. As you, as you guys see here, I'm spraying the tub, cleaning it out, and I'm getting every single corner I could get. Like I said, you do not want scent of egg up in there. You gotta clean it all up. I soak it and I let this sit for about, I would say, five minutes, get, you know, to get it really soaked in there and get that scent out of there. Now I'm gonna attempt to clean the inside of the uh, rack system. All right, so the inside is all clear out, as you can see. I wiped it down really good, front to back, up and down, uh, on, on the ceiling of the rack, on the bottom, on the sides, all the way in the back. Like I said, you really want to get this scent. I keep on repeating myself. You really want to get this scent of egg out of there. So the female could be like, okay, I don't have any eggs anymore. I want to relax. I want to rest. I want to eat. I want to drink. So uh, this is still soaking up right now. I'm going to wipe it down and then I'm going to put it back in there. I'm going to put the bedding back in there. All as right. Well. Now I have put brand new bedding within this tub. Now I'm going to put the tub back in the rack. Just like that. And now it doesn't smell like egg, it's, it, it's fully cleaned and everything like that, but that is not all. I still have this female right here, and I'm going to show you exactly what to do to this female to get the scent of egg off of her. Alright, we take her upstairs. So I have her in the bathroom right now, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to be doing to, to wash the scent off of her, and I'm going to show you right now. Alright guys, now that I got the female in the tub upstairs, 
in the bathroom, I'm going to show you how, uh, what I do to uh, wash the scent of egg off of her. Obviously, I wait to the uh, water reach a warm temperature. Obviously, you don't want to do cold. Obviously, you don't want to be doing too hot for the snake. You don't want to uh, injure the snake or uh, freak the snake out too much. The snake is going to freak out no matter what because uh, for some reason they freak out when you give them baths or uh, rinse them down with uh, water. So uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you exactly what I do. Uh, this is a little too hot. You want to do it like lukewarm, the water. Like I said, you don't want to freak the snake out or injure the snake in any type of way. She's actually going towards the water. That's pretty cool. Uh, she's going to freak out once she touches it. And, oh, she's not that bad. And you just want to run the water through the snake's body like this. Just, you know, get in the, you don't want to scrub the snake or anything like that. You just want to gently take the scent of um, egg off of the female. You run the water all along her body. I know some people uh, soak, their, uh, soak the reptiles to get the snake, uh, the egg, the scent of egg off of her. But I've been doing this method for a while. It's fast, it's easy. Um, it's effective, and I've been doing it for years, you know, and it's been working. It's been working. Yeah, I'm going to do really, really, really good. Oh, did it stop? Ah. Oh, uh, no, it didn't stop recording. It just the flash went off. All right, so I'm going to do a little more, a little more, a little more. Like I said, kind of like wipe it down with your hand and everything like that. Maybe the snake is freaking out a little bit. But um, if she tends to get aggressive, it's all right. It's normal. You know, this freaks. This is not normal for a snake to get washed down like this. But actually, she's doing a pretty good job. And you want to do this for a few minutes. Like I said, you want to run the water on the back, on the side, and everything like that to get that scent off. All right, all right, all right. I think you want to get, you know, her tail where she, you know, lay the eggs. You really want to get that spot, the end of her tail. Everything on that. Not too much the head. You know, you don't want to douse the head with uh, water too much. But uh, I think she's pretty good now. <sighs> I'm going to take her out. Kind of like take the little water out and everything like that. And uh, she's doing just great. I'm going to be drying her up. And um, I'm going to put her back in the tub in a moment. So uh, stand by, guys. Check that out. Oh, one more thing. You do not want her to put her back in the tub that you brung her up in because this tub is scent of egg right now. Um, maybe the human nose can't smell it, but it's there. So I'm not going to be putting her back there. So it'll defeat the purpose of me uh, cleaning her whole entire body and doing the whole entire process. And I don't want to do that again. So you definitely don't want to put her back in the tub, the original tub that she was in. All right, now that she's all washed up, I'll put her back in the uh, enclosure. I'm gonna wipe her down a little more because she's still a little, she has little uh, droplets still left on her. You wanna do that? And uh, she is nice and calm and there's zero scent of egg inside there. So uh, now she could relax and thrive and everything like that. And don't forget to wash the, uh, water bowls as well i'll actually replace that water bowl and i'm going to be uh this cup link right here this uh that's going to be washed and sanitized to get the scent off there like i said you want look at it look at her look at what are you doing what are you doing here get back in there like i said you want to take everything out sanitize it if you guys like this video at all give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll try to put up videos every single week sometimes multiple times a week so uh love you guys subscribe and, and hit my um the other videos that are like over here, over there, or maybe like four or two, I don't know. Click it, and uh, I'm out of here. All right, guys, so a couple of hours has passed, and uh, as you can see, she's nice and relaxed and laid in her uh, tub, not curled up in the corner and hugging eggs as if they were there. She's actually just laying, relaxing, and a lot more, less stressful she looks. So uh, it shows you right there that this method does work. Uh, so if you guys like this method, or you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. 
or hit me up on my social media. Thanks, guys. Links are down below.